Hello there folks, Spunky Cook here, aka your Lonely Achievement God, continuing our lawn mowing simulator coverage with Ancient Britain Challenge number four, the historic land. Uh, just off the bat, I do not know what this is referencing, so forgive my ignorance. Um, we need to mow whatever this uh, monument is considered, and there are kind of two ways you can go about doing this. You can use the weed eater to edge everything, uh, it's including the monument, and try to get it all cut that way. Um, I have done it twice. You, If you do follow along with that, or try to do that method, um, you will be finishing it with less than 30 seconds left. Um, I actually just recorded a run of this that finished with 8 seconds left. I completed the challenge, but there's not a lot of wiggle room. Um, so we're going to do one where we only use the weed eater around the outside of the area and try to mow everything else with our mower. So uh, we are using the Park Pro mower, which is kind of a pain to to steer. Um, this is the mower that's used in the very first amateur challenge, and it's used in uh, Expert Challenge 6. I'm not sure if there are any other challenges that use it. So uh, I do recommend maybe playing one of those to uh, get used to how it steers because you need to uh, be comfortable with stopping and backing up and uh, turning in this challenge. Um, you do have a penalty fine limit of 15 currency, but that's not really anything you need to worry about. Uh, there aren't very many flowers that you can damage, and on the lawn itself, there's almost nothing that can cause you a penalty or fine unless you turn too sharply and damage the ground or run into the single tree very uh, hard. So don't worry too much about the penalties once you've gotten the edges uh, string trimmed and then mown. The, the penalty won't really come into play here. Um, you don't have the pro view to miss any t cut um, or to cut any missed grass or show you where it is. So do be uh, thorough on your first pass. Try not to overload your engine too much. But on that note, you actually have a bit more wiggle room for uh, overloading your engine and causing it damage on this expert challenge than you do on the base game expert challenges. You, I think you have a limit of 90% instead of 95 so you don't have to worry too much about the engine overloads on this one. And finally, as you can see, we have a cutting time of 2830. Um, Shouldn't be too much of a problem with that, with this method. Um, you can use the string trimmer if you want to, but as I said, you wind up using uh, the entirety of the cutting time. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to grab the string trimmer, and uh, we're going to go right off right away and start cutting. I do recommend uh, sprinting and not quite pushing your stick all the way forward but just fast enough so you can get along this rather quickly. Uh, there are a couple of weeds that you can cut that don't uh, cause you any penalty, but uh, obviously be careful that you're not cutting any flowers. So what we're going to be doing is we're kind of working away around the what I call the west-northwest end of the grounds here, and I think we've made it to the north end now. Um, after you've been going along this north end for quite a ways, you're going to want to take a peek next to you to figure out where the tree is. Because when we get to the tree, we're going to jump off of our, our route here to edge around that tree. We're just going to go take care of it. Do quick circles around the tree. They don't have to be too far away. Um, but you just want to make sure you get all the grass around it so that when you bring your mower over, you don't have to worry about uh, running into the tree. And the same thing when you're up against this uh, br uh, rock wall here. Just make sure uh, that you're getting right up against it so you don't have to put your mower right up against it. There are a couple of flowers along this path, so try to be cautious. You do have the ability to probably destroy like 10-ish 10, 10 flowers and be okay, so 
you don't have to worry about it too much, but you obviously don't want to go crazy because you can still damage flowers uh, on your first pass with the mower as well. And you want to uh, leave yourself some room to do that. So we've made our way back around. Uh, we're approaching, probably we're on the south end now, and we're going to reach our truck any second here. So make sure you edge up against the truck. And when you do, you can drop your uh, string trimmer in, get on your mower. And uh, I prefer mowing in first person mode. So we're going to drive down, turn ourselves around, drop the cutting deck, and make sure you make note of the 99.9% .9 completion target. It means we don't have a lot of wiggle room for leaving grass behind. So. We need a six to seven centimeter cut, so we'll stick it to seven and we will start driving. Gonna get that outer edge done as quickly as possible. Uh, the terrain can be very uneven, so be cautious of that. Your first run at this may be a disaster because you may try to get this outer edge and the lawn may just knock you over into some flowers. Um, it's, you just got to kind of get used to it. You can tell by the steering wheel how many uh, little movements I'm trying to make to keep it online. Uh, and again, you don't have to go too slow. You can afford to damage a couple of flowers. So if you happen to go off into a flower bed, it's not a big deal. As you can see, I've kind of floored it now, and we've made it all the way back around, so what we're going to do is we're going to back up here, and we're going to start edging the monument as best we can. And this is a bit of a pain, but uh, the time that we're spending doing this is a little more efficient than using the string trimmer to do this. Because we're not just getting that small portion that the string trimmer can do, we're using the entire cutting deck here. Um, and as you can see, despite the fact that we're kind of bouncing all over the place, we're not actually causing any damage to our mower or to ourselves uh, or to or getting penalized for what we're doing so in the long run even though it's uh, probably frowned upon if we were mowing this in real life we're just gonna bounce all over the monument in our lawnmower and uh, it should save us time rather than using the string tr trimmer to try to edge all of this. Which as someone who has done that method twice, uh, again, it is possible, but you're, you have to cut the, the time very close. Okay, we've made it all the way around here. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue on the outside path now. And again, uh, watch your overloads. While you can get away with doing it, you don't want to get in the habit of doing it and leaving grass behind. So uh, try to keep your cuts around 50% of the mower. That allows you to... Uh, to drive at full speed and still cut a decent amount of grass without having to slow down. We're gonna, just going to do a couple more laps around the outside here until we get brought to another uh, section of the monument that we can edge.
And again, on your laps, you know, keep an eye out for spots where you overloaded your engine on your last pass. So you can uh, jump out and cut that grass you might have missed the first time. I highly recommend when you do overload your engine to slow down but keep driving. Uh, don't attempt to back up to, to cut what you missed. Um, you'll see me do that once in a while. Uh, do as I say, not a, or uh, do as I say, not as I do is the saying. Um, that's just something that kind of got ingrained into me from playing the game normally where there's no real time limit or penalty or anything like that. So um, when you're in the challenges, it's better to keep moving, uh, keep, you know, driving around and then you can just jump out of whatever path you're taking to mow some of the grass you might have missed on your first paths. So we're going to uh, take a bit of a detour here. Work on this section in here. This section is really annoying, so uh, that's why we're going to get it out of the way here because of the tight corners and the um, uneven terrain. Then we're just going to turn around and come back up along this section. And uh, something I like to do is I use the timer in the percentage bar up in the upper right hand corner to kind of give me an idea of how well I'm doing at kind of my pace. Um, you know, in some races they'll tell you if you you ran a quarter mile and this time you're on pace for this. I kind of use the the timer in the upper right hand corner and the percentage I've cut to figure out if I'm on a good pace or not. So um, you kind of have to pay attention to when you get on the mower. Uh, for us, it probably took two or three minutes to do the uh, string trimmer stuff, which means we probably got on the mower around 24, 25 minutes, which means we've gotten 25% of the lawn cut in about six minutes, which means we're at a pretty good pace. Um, And as long as we don't have uh, too much grass left behind along the edges of the monument, we shouldn't have any troubles finishing this. Um, we already edged the more difficult portion of the monument here. So as long as you're controlling your overloads and keeping an eye on, out for any grass you might miss, you should be able to keep up with it with the video here. As I said, it is possible to do this using the string trimmer for everything, but um, it's a bit more difficult. And uh, I'll keep that video available uh, if anyone wants. If I get a request for it, I'll upload it if anyone upload it if anyone wants to see how you can use the string trimmer and still complete the challenge, but it's more it just adds some difficulty it seems like rather than helps.
So we're going to make a little bit of a detour here and cut back across so we can kind of separate this section of the lawn from everything else and work on it. I like to to kind of break the the sections down into smaller sections so uh, it's kind of a dumb thing but it gives a sense of completion when you finish smaller sections helps with motivation at least for me personally and we are approaching 50 percent of the lawn cut and we are nowhere near where we're still a minute a uh, minute shy of the halfway point for the timer and that includes the fact that we started with the string trimmer for three minutes so we are making excellent time as long as like I said our mower is edging the monument properly um, we should finish this with a few minutes remaining There we go, we hit 50%, and we're just reaching um, the halfway point for time. What I mean by that is, when you're using the string trimmer, you're not cutting very much grass over a period of time. Um, the string trimmer is designed to help you edge, but it's not going to cut at the same pace that your mower does. So you may get to like 1% or 2% cut with the string trimmer in the first three minutes that you're using the string trimmer. So it's hard to make an estimate on your pace based on that. Once you start using the mower, you have to keep in uh, mind that the first couple of minutes you weren't cutting at an optimal level because you weren't using your mower. So... Um, So if you're if you're short of pace, if you're doing the math in your head and you're like, wait, why am I so short? Uh, just keep that in mind that your first couple of minutes you were barely cutting anything, um, so your pace numbers might be a little bit off. If I hope that all makes sense, uh, it does to me, but sometimes. You know, you have to use the right words to convey things, and it's not always easy to do that. So hopefully that makes sense. With that done, we're just going to work our way around this part of the monument. If we can, there we go. And then we're going to do the same down here. We're going to try to get the edging for all of the monument portions done so the rest of what we're cutting can literally only be the grass in the middle. You can tell by uh, how I'm bouncing around how bumpy it is to try to do this. It's why I, I started doing or trying to see if the string trimmer would work better. And unfortunately, while it does work, I think for most people it's going to be more f far more frustrating than uh, just using your mower to do this. Well, while we're over here, we're going to get this section of it, too.
And there we go. That is, uh, I think, all of the sections of the monument edged. So we're going to make our way around the center section and get that done now. And we are quite literally reaching the two-thirds percent point for our cut percentage. And we're still ahead of two-thirds of the total time required. So again, just keep making your way around, trying not to overload your engine. And if you have overloaded your engine like you saw there, jump out of your lap to uh, cut what you missed. But as you can see in the bottom left hand corner, if you're doing this one after having done uh, all of the base game expert challenges, you'll notice we have uh, more room on the engine condition bar than we, we did uh, for the base game ones. For some reason, they gave us a little extra wiggle room here, and I'm not sure why, but I do appreciate it. It means we have to worry less about engine overloads. I actually found the DLC challenges to be quite a bit easier than uh, the main game ones. And we're about to reach 75% of the grass cut. 75% uh, of the time limit would be about 7 minutes and 7 seconds remaining. So we're well ahead of that pace. And as I said, you know, we start those first couple of minutes using the string trimmer so we're not reaching a maximum cutting pace. We are now at that maximum cutting pace, so we should finish with over a minute left, but we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. There can always be complications, so counting your completion before it hatches is a bad idea. And with that done, we'll jump back in over here and make our way back around. see a piece of grass over there, so I'm going to go grab it. We have to have 99.9% .9 of the lawn cut, so you don't want to um, miss too much of the grass. If you see any easy sections that you can grab, you know, go, out, go and get them. Um, in all likelihood, you're not going to have enough time to do a lot of cleanup at the end, so...
and try to always be mowing. You'll see that I'm not entirely sticking to the path that I had uh, cut out because um, I noticed that I could keep cutting if I went straight rather than turning around and, and stopping. Uh, maximizing the time spent driving and cutting is important for completing the challenges. And you can see we're at 95% right now. Um, we are in excellent shape. With four minutes left. Yeah, don't... If you are watching this before attempting it yourself, don't attempt to use the string trimmer. It's a waste of time. It is still possible with the string trimmer, so if you want to give yourself a challenge, have at it. As I said, I did complete it twice uh, using the string trimmer first, but uh, the previous attempt I've completed it with eight seconds left, so a little bit more stressful than our run here. I do apologize, sometimes I ask accidentally bump the right trigger and my perspective changes a little bit uh, one of the annoyances of being in first person mode for your cutting so I do apologize for that but we're almost to the end here and uh, if you've been following along with me from the beginning this might be your last video with me and as you can see we still had a bit of grass left finish the contract with two minutes and 57 seconds left be careful when you drive on the ramp the ramp is kind of weirdly positioned so you might bump it you could get a bit of a penalty or fine for that so just be cautious and then you can run to the truck and finish the challenge there it is folks uh, if you have any questions or comments as always reach out to me I'll do my best to answer them but if not I will see you guys next time